Hey, let's play and welcome back to more WWE Day of Reckoning with me, Hero They Call Me. In the last video, um, we found out that we're going to face Booker T in a Hell of a Cell on SmackDown. The winner of that will be number 29 in the Royal Rumble, so we got to win this match. Let's get into it. Second week of January, show 23, Hell in a Cell. And here he comes, the new United States Champion. Samuel, Mr. Old School Wrestling. Look at that, patting the title. Man, this title looks weird. <laughs> like the strap, it looks like uh, uh, stuff you put on roofs. It's like shingles or something? I don't know, I can't remember the word for it. That's what it kind of looks like, though. All right, Hell in a Cell, there's uh, pretty much it's a singles match. There's no real, like, you know, special stipulation to win. Just beat your opponent and pin them. Just there's a cell around you, <laughs> if you were wondering, if you didn't know. If you didn't know, you probably aren't watching this video because you're not a wrestling fan. <laughs> well, that's not true. Some people just might want to hear my um, um, beautiful voice. For those people, uh, thank you very much. <laughs> Uh, I don't know if you can even escape. Oh, I assume you can escape the cell in this game. I'm just not entirely sure how you do that. Uh, I'll see if I can figure it out, though. Usually there's a door around here or something. Okay, you can climb the out to the inside of the cell. Probably the first game you can do that, because I can't recall any other game where you could climb the inside of the cell. And you gotta hold down to climb up. Okay. Look, it's me, Ma. I'm climbing. <laughs> this is so ridiculous. Why is this even a thing? Oh, he shook it and I fell. Okay, well that was interesting. Didn't even know that was a thing. That could be done in this game. Ow, stop kicking me in the nads. Uh-oh. Pilot driver on the outside of the ring. That's gonna kill. Hmm. Maybe you can't get out of this cell. I remember like, in Here Comes the Pain or something, there was a door here if I recall correctly. It doesn't seem to be the same here. A little strange. A little strange indeed. Alright, let's see if I can throw him here. Oh, wrong button. There we go. Oh, yeah, I ran into the steel. How do you like them apples? Well, I'm sure someone will tell me in the comment section that, yeah, there actually is a way you can get out. So, first you, well, you know, you throw the ref into the turnbuckle, then uh, Booker T, uh, you have to kick him seven times in the exact same spot, and uh, the door will appear. <laughs> uh, let's go to the pin, why not? Make it as quick as possible. One. Oh, only the one count. Booker having none of it. All right, Booker. Let's see how long he can last. Pile driver. Bust you out in your head. Didn't mean to do that, but whatever. Oh, didn't mean to do that either. Uh, can I get to the top row from here? I can. Flying double drop. Which hits with great power. Oh, Booker T with the... Oh, the big kick. Side sidestep kick, pretty nasty. Oh, backdrop time or backbreaker, I should say. Boom! I know Booker's seen better days. Let's see if we can end him here. What are we gonna do? Oh yeah, fisherman buster. Boom! Right on top of his head. Oh, keep like vomiting my mouth a bit. It's gross. Mm. Don't know why either. So it's a little strange. Booker T already got his finisher, even though I've been uh, dominating him this entire match. The logic of charisma in this game. Nope, I'm not letting that happen, because I don't feel like losing to you. Oh, I'm going to throw him out of the ring. I miss games where you can actually throw people out of the ring like that. This is always fun. All right, Booker, get up. Time for you to get your neck cracked. And you're dead. <laughs> Broke his neck. Say goodbye to your kids, because you're never seeing them again, because you're dead now. And the tallywhacker. Should be enough for the pin. He reversed my pin attempts. What are the odds of that? Oh, the big spin kick. Taking me down. Yeah, get out of here. You're not going to beat me with a spin kick. Do you, do you know who the fuck I am? <laughs> Shout out to anyone who gets that reference. You have to be like a YouTube OG to get that reference. <laughs> he already got his finisher again. That's insane. Well, I'm not letting you pin, pin me or, or get that on me, so I'm just going to put you in the Dragon Sleeper and uh, waste your special and also do a serious amount of damage to you. Should put him in red. That'd be my guess. Yep. Poor Booker T. 
Oh, reversal of Booker T. Kick to the gut. Oh, another reversal of Booker T. Oh, spinning back kick one more time. Booker T looking to go to the top rope here. And he gets missed. And the pin. One, two, three. Oh, he took advantage of it. Booker T crashed hard. Crashed and burned. Mr. Aslan took advantage of it. Here's your winner and the number 29 entrance into the Royal Rumble, Mr. Wrestling. Oh, backstage with Jonathan Coachman. So, Mr. Wrestling, you just won that brutal Hell in a Cell match. Seemingly, your feud is now over. But more importantly, you've earned the coveted number 29 entry into the Royal Rumble next week. Of course, we all know that the winner of the Royal Rumble gets a shot at the WWE Championship title. Currently held by The Undertaker at WrestleMania, seemingly the only thing standing between you and a title shot at WrestleMania is your old running buddy Big Show, who holds his number 30 slot. Yeah, I know that show holds the number 30 slot at the Royal Rumble, but I can't let that worry me. I intend to go out there at, at 29 and earn my shot at WrestleMania, whoever or whatever stands in my way. Oh! Big Show, no! Why are you always attacking me from behind and then kicking me in the ass? That was a little strange. His foot went like, through my asshole. You've got no chance, you hear me? Not you or any of those 28 other wimps. You're all wasting your time. I'm 7 feet tall, 500 pounds, and I'm going to win the Royal Rumble. So look, Big Show's been spewing the same shit since, like, what? When was this game made? Like, 2004? <laughs> I'm a giant. I can't be thrown over the rope. Alright, well, might as well uh, boost up some stuff now while we're here. I think the Royal Rumble's up next. That'd be my guess. Uh, speed, durability, counter, charisma... Uh, I wanted to boost up durability last time, right? So I'm going to get that at the 7.5 there. So I can take a bit more of a beating. And let's continue on. Third week of January, show 24. Royal ramifications. Here's a question. Am I going to have to wait like a billion years to come out? Or is this like 27 here? 28 position? Because I really hope this isn't one in one in two. Because I'm going to be here a long time. Nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Bam. It's Mr. Aslan. Okay, good. So, final four Chris Benoit. Um, freaking. What's his face? Oh my god, I'm gonna get eliminated. No, no. Chris Benoit, Shawn Michaels, and Big Show. Final four. Pretty good final. Shawn, no, why me? Be nice. Be nice to me. Help me beat up the murderer. He killed his family. Not yet, but he will. We gotta get him another Royal Rumble so he never goes crazy and kills his family. Because that's what happened, if you don't remember in wrestling. He won the Royal Rumble and then he killed his family. <laughs> Imagine. Ugh. Yeah, yeah, go after him. Don't, don't, don't worry about me. Oh my goodness. He's like Superman. Get up. Wow, dude. Chris Paul is a crazy reverser, uh, reverser in this game. Even when he's not getting attacked by someone, he knows he can reverse them. No. Leave me alone. Alright, you, you get him. I'm just going to stand over here and taunt. Don't mind me. <laughs> oh, he's got him in the Crippler Crossface. That's going to do some damage to... Uh, Shawn Michaels, I assume you have to just weaken people up before you can actually throw them out of the ring. Because some games, before like they put in that whole like Royal Rumble minigame thing, it was just throw them over the ropes and punch them and they'd fall out of the ring. So, HBK is mad weak right now. I want to help him eliminate Chris Benoit, though, because Chris Benoit is super strong. And that worries me. No, I'm not trying to attack him. I'm trying to attack freaking Benoit. Ow, dude, come on. Calm down. You stay away from me, Shawn Michaels. Uh oh, here comes a fat show. Big show on his way to the ring. Benoit, another finisher. Alright, show. Here he is. Benoit using the dragon screw instead of using his finisher. That's a little strange. Oh, Big Show going straight for me, so at least that's like actual storyline esque. Oh, he decided to go for the sharpshooter. That's why I didn't. Freaking uh, hit him with the crippler crossface. Big show, no. Enough enough of you. Oh toss me right down to the ground. There we go. Starting to build some momentum here. Flying headbutt. Taking Big Show down to the ground. Big show with the reversal. Apparently his uh technical wrestling skills are amazing in this game. Thanks. Oh 
Yeah, lift him! Lift him! You can do it! Lift him! Use your muscles! Oh, not enough power. That would've been cool. So lift him up and throw him out of the ring, but uh, apparently I can't do that, so... Ooh, the big shot by Big Show. And I like how Big Show threw me right into the corner, by the way. I have to mention that. Get off of me. Oh, there goes HBK, so it's down to Big Show, Chris Benoit, and Samuel wrestling. And Benoit, of course, is gonna pick on me because he's a dickhead. Benoit, no, 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 no. You guys are a bunch of bastards. <laughs> oh, see you later, Benoit. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, there we go, down to two. Shawn Michaels, Mr. Wrestling. This is what it's all about right now. Two big boys going at it. Oh, the big clothesline from now right there. It's gonna be difficult. Shawn Michaels is a hell of a competitor. And I would love to eliminate him, but he's kicking my arse right now. Oh, reversal. How do you like them apples? And I missed with the flying head, but of course. I don't know why I always try the flying head, but it never works for me. Oh, Michael's working on the legs. It's a smart move. Can't get much power if you don't have your legs to work for you. Oh my goodness, I just wanna flip in. You missed. I didn't. Wow, you reversed. No. See, this is what I don't understand. How, like, the game just amps up difficulty like crazy out of nowhere. Kind of drives me insane. He's going for that off the top rope elbow drop. For some reason is one of his finishers in this game when really it's a signature move or whatever. Signatures don't really exist in this game, so I guess it makes sense. Man, he's kicking my ass right now. Ow, stop it. Leave me be. I can't even do a single move. He's gonna eliminate me, isn't he? Yep. No sell the gut wrench. Oh, too bad he reversed my move again. And the scoop slam. No sell the scoop slam. Come on, just whip him out of the ring. No, and I'm done, I lost. Yep. Let him wear out that finisher. And he's back to his feet. Superman, Chris Benoit. Tapping into his inner demon to get right back up. I haven't been hit like I've been hit like maybe once this entire match. So if I get thrown out right away, I'd be very pissed. Oh, oh no! Why isn't he going over the rope? I call BS. I call massive BS on that one. Come on, get up. All right, he's close to the rope, but he's gonna reverse this time, right? Nope, no reversal. There we go. This is their chance. Yes, finally. Jeez, been at this for like 25 minutes now. Here's your winner and the Royal Rumble winner. Oh damn, it's Taker. All of you people saw what happened here tonight. We saw a brutal Royal Rumble match that determined a uh, number one contender for the title shot at WrestleMania. A title shot for my belt, my WWE Championship belt. And I'm sure that uh, all you non-believers would like to see nothing more than me losing my belt in two months against the guy who just won the Royal Rumble. Well, before you get that image in, uh, ingrained in your pathetic little minds, let's remind you of something. I am the Phenom. I am the Undertaker. I am the Dead Man. I cannot be hurt. I cannot be stopped. I cannot be beat. I have defended this belt night after night after night. Every week, every month, every year. That's why I'm the very best there is. So before you even think about this belt around the waist of anybody else, especially the pathetic whelp who won the Royal Rumble, remember this. For as a dangerous and formidable a force as I've been in my time in the WWE, I now intend to focus all that energy into one sole purpose, and that is to single-handedly put Mr. Wrestling out of wrestling. Let's face it. I brought him into the business. I gave him the privilege the honor of joining the new ministry. In other words, I made Mr. Wrestling into everything he is today. Now let me correct myself. Not everything. I didn't make him the disappointment he's become. He did that to himself. But now I'm going to give him uh, his place in the history when I finish him once and for all. I'm going to make him famous. And I will do it on the most sacred stage of them all. Um, where the whole world watches helplessly at WrestleMania. We'll see about that, Taker. We'll see about that. So anyways, guys, this is where we're going to end this video, and uh, we we'll continue uh, our road to WrestleMania on the next one. Thanks for watching, guys. If you want to see more of yours truly, be sure to click on one or all of the videos on your screen right now. Also, I have a Patreon account now, so if you feel like making a donation to help a struggling YouTuber out, that would be awesome. If not, I still love you, I think. Have a great day. Peace out, guys. 
And though the heart will turn into ash, the love that it has never will pass. And though the world's on fire eternal, the winds of change are helpful.